Hey everyone, so it's been a little while since my previous video and I thought I'd just check in with you guys and give you guys an update video on what's happening with the channel and also what's going to be happening with my life over the next couple of months or so as there's going to be some changes upcoming which might affect the delivery of the videos. Now I just wanted to take a moment to say that I'm really happy with how the channel is developing so far. I'm loving that people are finding these videos and they're really enjoying them. I also hope that you guys are enjoying the electromagnetism series that I've been doing so far. So far I haven't got quite the number of views that I have on the statistical physics videos, particularly my introduction to statistical physics which seem to have gotten quite a lot of views somehow, but hopefully more people will find this video series and it'll get shared around a little bit more. So an update as to what's happening, I will be doing a few more videos over the next week or so on electromagnetism. So now that we have Maxwell's four equations we can actually start to apply these to various different systems of electromagnetism. Uh, and a couple of these will include things such as waveguides, fiber optics, stuff like that. So I would say you could expect to see about four or five more videos in this electromagnetism series before I can say that I've kind of covered, albeit quite thinly because electromagnetism is a massive, massive subject, most of the topics that a university course will cover. So that's the electromagnetism. The other thing I wanted to bring up was I just wanted to ask you guys for some feedback on these videos that I deliver in general. Now, the purpose of this channel is to deliver lectures, essentially, that go through all of the derivations incredibly slowly to a point where we can understand what's going on, because a lot of the time in university, lectures will tend to rush derivations incredibly quickly, and oftentimes that can leave undergraduates being very confused. And so I really wanted to make videos which explain every single step of the derivation so that no stone is left unturned and we actually have a much fuller understanding of the theories themselves. However, do you guys find these videos to be a little bit long and boring or do you find them to be a good length because of course they have every single step? How do you guys feel? I'm considering making slightly shorter videos in the future which kind of get the general point across without getting stuck in all of the different maths but this is just an idea I have at the moment and I just wanted to see whether you guys would like to see more of those types of videos which kind of gloss over the maths and kind of get to the point a little bit more or videos where I spend a lot of time going through the algebra to make sure that no stone is left unturned. So let me know about what you guys think about that. I am considering doing some different videos, however, which actually are still physics based, but they're more sort of fun physics. So they're more kind of applying physics in order to kind of like see if we can kind of predict from a physics perspective a certain outcome. So an example of this would be, can we use physics to model how long it takes to boil an egg? Or even taking this to a fictional realm, for example, how much energy does the Death Star need in order to obliterate Alderaan? So just applying physics in a more casual context rather than the quite heavy front-loaded derivations that I do on this channel. So you can expect to see a few more of them after I finish my electromagnetism series. So what's going to be happening in my life? Well, I will be starting a PhD at the University of Bristol modelling aerosol resuspension within fluids. So what that essentially means is that I will be modelling how small aerosol particles transmit within fluid systems. So that would be, for example, a disease which is going to be carried by the wind, uh, you can almost think about how relevant this would be to the coronavirus pandemic, which we recently experienced, where, of course, if you were to sneeze, how, where would those particles in the air kind of go? And, you know, how long would they stay on surfaces, for example? And how airborne are they? So it will be looking at all sorts of things like that and hopefully trying to get more insight into the actual mechanisms of how small particles are dispersed within fluids. But the implications of me doing a PhD is that videos may be a little bit less frequent because obviously doing a PhD is notoriously time consuming, but you should hopefully still see some videos on this channel from September onwards. And the final thing I wanted to mention is that I actually have a music channel now. Some of you may have noticed that I uploaded some music videos which may have just seemed a little bit off-brand, and so what I decided to do was I decided to make a separate music channel for any of my music endeavours. I'll actually be doing mostly covers, a couple of my own compositions, because I also play piano and compose music whenever I have spare time. And there'll be a link to that right here 
hopefully. Hopefully it'll appear. <laughs> so thanks a lot for sticking with me in this video and let me know sort of what you think about those physics videos down in the comments below. I will be carrying on working on the next video in the electromagnetism series which will actually be looking at magnetic potentials and so hopefully I'll aim to release that within the next week or so. So thanks for watching, see you guys then and take care.